welcome to another session of uh, Lens Baby. And um, today we're gonna try to do um, a macro. Um, who said you can do macro with the Lens Baby? Of course you can. You just have to get the um, extension tubes. There's uh, a few you can get online at Amazon. Um, these are the Kenko ones. They're very inexpensive because um, they don't have a glass in them. So it's, you can see it's uh, no glass. So um, there's not much that um, you can damage or uh, can be damaged in these things. They're like toys. And you get a three set when you purchase a kit. You get um, uh, the, 20, the 12 millimeter, you get a 20 millimeter, and you get the big one that I have here on the, on the camera, which is, um, let me see, 36 millimeter. And um, so you can use them on a variety of lenses, um, and it allows you to get closer to your subjects. So in my case right now, I'm getting, um, I'm doing a macro shot by using my Lens Baby Velvet 56. Today I'm thinking I'm gonna do a macro shot of a seashell. And um, I have a simple background. As you can see, it's, it's a wooden background. I bought these, I believe, at, um, at Michael's in Canada here. And um, they're very inexpensive, maybe about $7 or $8, something like that. I don't remember, I probably bought it on sale. And uh, that's going to be my background for my um, macro shoot. Also, as you can see, I'm tethered. I'm using um, a tethered, um, my, use, uh, my Canon EOS R. And... Uh, I'm tethered to my laptop here, which is my um, my MacBook Air, and of course I'm tethered to um, Lightroom. So whatever I take from the camera will show up on my screen. I will show you the screen uh, a little bit closer so you can have an idea what I'm talking about. And um, the way it's gonna work is that. Um, I put the, um, let me take it off so I can show you, okay, uh, okay, so this is my Velvet 56 and this is the um, extension tube, I just connect the extension tube to my Velvet first and then I go to my camera and I add it to my camera, that easy. So there's nothing complicated with this. Um, and for this, uh, normally you would have to use the back screen of your camera if you're not doing tethered shooting. But in this case, I'm doing tethered. I don't have to see what's on the back screen, but I can still see in the EVF what's going on. So, so when I'm shooting, I'm just looking and, uh, and focusing. Um, the settings on my camera is going to be aperture priority. Um, sorry if I go out of camera and back in. Um, but that's that's as much as I can do. Um, so aperture priority. I'm on ISO automatic. So I could use ISO 100, but there is not much light here. So I'm going to let the camera choose the ISO for me, uh, depending on the light. And also I have um, aperture priority, as I mentioned, and automatic ISO. And also I choose my aperture on my lens. So, and the way I focus is, is I just look through the viewfinder and I go in and out until I get it perfectly sharp. And then I shoot. Okay. So we're back and um, so as you can see on my screen, um, 
maybe I'm not sure if you can see um, how I'm focusing I'm getting in it it doesn't show like you can see on my screen but anyways um, when I take the picture you will see I'm getting very close to the shell right now and I'm got one shot I also like the grains like there is a white section in this shell and um, you can see a reddish um, color going right through it I'm gonna see if I can get a shot of that and uh, I just go close and to get the focus right you know one good thing of this CSR it has the capability of focus peaking so in your lens uh, when in your EVF when you look and you're trying you're focusing whatever is in focus will turn red I'm sure you can change the color from red to green to any color you like on your camera depending on the camera so now I'm focusing on the uh, tip here uh, I focus right on the tip of the um, shell here I hope you can see it uh, I'm sure I can do a better job if I put the camera on a tripod and and do this work because it's a very very uh, sensitive work okay I flipped over the shell and I can see gosh it's beautiful it's very very nice so I'm gonna try to do get a composition here and see I'm gonna also change my aperture from 3.8 to 8 so I'm, I'm having an f-stop of 8 and uh, yeah and we'll try this and see since I'm on uh, aperture priority I don't have to worry about changing the shutter speed that automatically does that for me so I'm gonna try and see what I can get with this I am uh, right at the bottom of this shell and um, as you can see oh that's nice I like this one I love this one and uh, anyways uh, I'm gonna take one more um, at the top here and putting the bottom of the shell in the corner in the bottom right corner and I'm gonna just gonna focus in uh, moving in and out to focus in and out and I got the shot so yes so that that shows you how you can very simple use uh, uh, the lens baby with the extension tubes to make um, nice uh, macro macro um, photos um, I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, if you really liked it give me a thumbs up and subscribe and share if you can and um, so we'll wrap this up and um, and uh, we'll see you next time again have a good day bye